Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing really well and having a really great day. In today's video, I want to talk about a few changes to a website I recently promoted or have talked about what you can use to simulate your location for your Hedum hotspot. So let's get started. <laughs> First of all, I need to excuse myself for having such a bad microphone today, but I'm not at home, so I will record this on the go, and I hope all of you are fine with this. If not, let me know in the comments. So I'm using the website link.ui, so basically what you can do is go on the website link.ui.com, and I will put down a link in the video description as well. What we will do here is we're trying to simulate one of our hotspots in a certain position. And for this, I will go to a location in Germany and I will go to Munich for, I think this is the most known city. And I will show you how you can kind of simulate your hotspot with this website. And this website got a couple of updates recently, so I think this video will be really useful for you if you are still into helium mining and you're still wondering is this location even a good idea or not. So let's zoom out a little bit and let's see. So we have Munich and let's think about that we will try to place our hotspot somewhere in the northern part of it. Then we are going to add an access point. So just simply drag this gray icon around or if you have a certain address you want to type in, type this in in the correct form on top in the search bar and it will automatically create a gray dot on the address you typed in. But for this case, I just move it around. You can simply left click it and move it around a little bit and then click on add AP for access point. Now we need to click on this lower part on the downside here and there are a couple things coming up, but we're not interested in it. We want to set up our manual access point here. So we're clicking on manual and then on the left hand side, you see there's like some sort of device, but we want to change this. So we click on the left hand side and then we click on reset and type in 900. And we see there's a rocket 900. We're choosing this. So we changed our access point to um, the rocket 900. This one is working on the 900 megahertz frequency. So this is really close to like European or American frequency for helium mining. Now it comes to like the installation height. And for this hotspot, I will say we are like, uh, 20 meters up high. This is, I would say, a common two-story house building. And now we need to change our antenna. So on the top, you uh, on the bottom, you can see that you can change your height. And on the left side, here's our antenna. And we want to change this to a custom antenna. And here comes the tricky part. Um, as far as I know, this website can only simulate down to 8 dBi antennas. So we are only using like 8 dBi antennas. And for this, we're typing in 8. And now it's asking us for another letter, but we only type in 8. So I type in 8 point and it will switch over to the next uh, input field. And there we can type in 360 for like a 360 um, degree of view angle that we have with this antenna. So I click on create this, it will automatically pop up here, left click on it, and now we have a 360 degree ADBI antenna installed in this location. In the, in the northern, middle northern part of Munich, it's a really big city in Germany, and we can see what we can expect from this device. We can also change something like the power, and uh, for Germany, I would need to go down to 14 dBm. And here you can see another graphic because in, in Germany, there's only a power output of 14 dBm allowed. I bet or I think in, in America it's a little bit higher, but I'm not sure about the dBm over there. So I will only be responsible for information in Europe. But what does this graphic show us? Um, basically what we can do now is that we can lower this. As you have seen here, I, I clicked on the right hand side, I clicked on this little icon and lowered it. And what this kind of chart or graphic will tell us is if a certain location is a good location or not. 
and keep in mind you should always try to keep your height as accurate as possible because here the mining and the range of your frequency or the, the range of your antenna signals is determined by buildings around you and how high you can place your antenna. Let's say just for experimental stuff here, we're changing our height down to 5 meters. You will see there's total degreement of our antenna signal, as you can see here. Our antenna is really, really bad. If we say that we are lowering our antenna to like 5 meters, for five meters, I would expect it to be like at the first floor. And to be sure, if you're American or you are an European, if I say first floor, I don't mean the ground level. I mean, you're going upstairs one floor, first floor. So five meters should be like first floor for me. You see the, the signal output and what I could kind of uh, achieve with this antenna on such low installation height is really low. So let's change this to double to 10 meters and see if and you and see if there's an increasement. And yes, there is. As you can see, there's an increasement of the antenna overall. So even like five meters, changing it by one more floor will change the antenna. And sure, this is um, just a basic calculation or basic simulation. It will not show you if there are any buildings around that will block your signals. It will only show you how is the geographically position of your antenna and how this will theoretically perform here. It will also not calculate this if there's any mobile station next to you and this is interfering with your signal. It will only show you the raw data. But even this raw data is absolutely interesting for us and we need this to see if a certain position does even make sense for us or not and as you can see as further we go out the city the weaker the signal gets but to be honest it looks really good and we can see a lot of this city and even some smaller cities or some smaller villages around uh, this big city are available with a hotspot at this certain position at like at 10 meters height so this will probably probably be like uh, 30 feet or something else i'm not sure maybe so think about it use this tool i will put it down in the video description and do your research check it out is your position even a good one or not play around a little bit with it thanks for joining in if you like this video i would absolutely appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and see you on the next one